I'm with Rachel Jones from Volunteer Aerospace. Volunteer Aerospace is just a fascinating company. They specialize in advanced materials and advanced manufacturing. So Rachel, tell us about your company, please. We are an advanced manufacturer. We're located in Knoxville, Tennessee. We are a woman-owned small business. Um, we kind of have our bread and butter as additive manufacturing. A lot of people hear the buzzword 3D printing. Um, we focus in metal 3D printing. So the pieces that we're building aren't made of plastic, they're made of metal. Um, and we grow different things for different industries. We largely specialize in aerospace. Can you explain uh, the 3D printing process with, uh, with metal? Because uh, a lot of people, when, when we think about 3D printing, uh, it, the, the whole thing's a new technology, newer technology. But of course, most people think of the polymers. Um, but there's research being done into the metals and uh, you know, some of the advantages of additive manufacturing versus reductive manufacturing, which is traditional. Uh, manufacturing. Um, you know, 3D printing really is a buzzword and it encompasses so many different areas. So the specific type of additive manufacturing that we do is called laser powder bed. So with that, we have a metal powder, um, a laser turns on, it melts whatever the computer is telling it to melt. Um, it sinks down, it brushes more powder, and then it does it all over again. So as we're going, we're building the base down and then you're able to bring it up and the part is within the powder. And the weight, like you're talking about, I mean, we have a sun sphere here, which was, I actually watched one of these being produced and brought up out of the metal bed. And you would think that this thing is like a 10 pound piece because it's very sturdy and it literally is ounces. Hollow. Yes, yeah. we're absolutely. And, and the bottom really showcases, again, some of those geometries you wouldn't traditionally be able to make. Um, and it is hollow. So we see a lot of that when you are flying something or launching something, weight is very big. It, it's extra food, it's extra materials, it's, it's extra something that they can have in space um, if you can cut away that weight. So we still want really sound, solid parts, but we want to take advantage of the manufacturing that we have. So having additive has helped a lot in weight reduction. I believe that the global economy is moving towards innovation. Innovation is the real driver now. And when we look at our region, companies like yours, we have some assets here, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the University of Tennessee, and TVA that really make us a player in the innovation field. I think East Tennessee is uniquely positioned. You know, people always call it Innovation Valley, and I really do feel like that is a connection that we've latched onto uh, with the National Lab, with the University of Tennessee, and the research that's coming out. Uh, we're able to both have a business that's successful and that can sustain having employees, having a facility growth of the county and our location, um, while also being on this forefront of manufacturing. We want to be on the cutting edge and a sustainable business. So there, there's opportunities for people uh, who don't necessarily want to go through a, a four-year college and yeah. either come straight out of high school, I'm sure you guys provide some training, or go through the trade school route or the vocational route, correct? The cool thing about advanced manufacturing is that it runs the gamut. We've taken people that were getting their PhD at UT, we have people with a four-year engineering degree, we have people that are looking for a change in their profession, all the way down to people coming out of programs like TCAT or uh, the byington Solway program in Carnes. It really has a lot of different abilities. Um, we have the programming side of it, very computer, kind of office-based job. We have the people running the machines, very hands-on. You're actually manipulating the parts. You do basic uh, kind of part breakaway, packing up kind of thing. And then we have more specialized where you're a machinist and you're actually working with what is in essence a preform, um, finishing it and things like that. Um, we have welding in-house. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities to work in advanced manufacturing. I'm really excited about the future of our economy because of the driving innovation that we have here. And your company is one of those companies that's a real bright spot and I think is gonna be a magnet for other firms like yours. So thank you so much for sitting down with me and best of luck in the future. Thank you.